then, um, all right, I wanted to come on here and kind of do some readjustments uh, when I did the Micro Mini album kit using uh, my uh, DD set. And when I done the video, the live video, I had messed up and made the the uh, the seam or the binding. How, how would you call it? I am so lost today. I had made it one and three fourths inches, and I was supposed to make it three fourths inches. So I went ahead and went back, and I reprinted out the digis um, that I needed. And I put the book together using the correct measurements. So what you'll need to do is to make my uh, micro mini album. And I'm going to have uh, coming out with uh, some more. So these will be a standard size and everything. Um, you will need to cut out two pieces of chipboard that measure two and a half by three. And then the spine, that's what I was after. The spine will measure three fourths by three and not one and three fourths by three like I had done here. Now you're welcome to do that uh, to make it bigger. Um, but my kit is measured to work with the three fourths by three um, spine. So that's what I did is I cut it out and I matted it with the two mats that were, uh, with the mats that are provided in the kit. And then on the inside, you have uh, the mat that goes on the inside. All of it matches perfectly. All of it measures out perfectly. And then, um, I created signatures. Now I went through and in my signatures, I bet you, you know, I wanted to make them chunky and really nice. So using the paper that's provided, which you get six sheets of a custom made paper in your kit along with a bunch of embellishments and everything. Um, as you see here, that's what I have here. Um, and then I added white card stock and then I added some sprayed uh, vellum that I have. Um, that I sprayed with uh, Lindy Stamp Gain Sprays. I talked about that in the live video. Um, and then I just added a couple of pieces of acetate, which is the clear um, plastic, as you see here, which I thought would be fun uh, to add in there, you know, just for um, aesthetic purposes and everything. But there's going to be a lot of room. So what I did was, is I used what was called the kettle stitch. And uh, Mae Larson over on uh, Crafting on a Budget, she shows you how to do this kettle stitch, which is really nice. Um, I really like the kettle stitch. And how I binded my four signatures, I made four. Even though I provided six different papers, I made four. So, um, and I used what um, it's called. Um, the uh, Joe, Fan, uh, Joe Famey hand book binding tool set. You can get this at Amazon and I'll have a link in the description box down below. Um, it's only $14.99 and you get all sorts of, uh, you get all your tools. You get your bone folder, uh, retractable knife, you get a steel ruler, um, a superior brush, you get the awl, you get book binding needles, both straight and curved. You get a pair of scissors. You get four rolls of wax thread, which equals about 55 yards. You get four binder clips and you get a sewing thimble. So you get all of that in this kit and it's only $14.99. Super awesome to have. You got the tools and everything you need to make your signatures and bind your book. So that is what I did, and I cut out, like I said, um, this little piece here is actually this. You put it together, and it's a little tag and pocket. Also, this is a little envelope you can put together if you wanted and slip something off in there, like fold it up and make it look like this, and you can slip something off in there. Really, really cute. Also, you have your Santas. You have a lot of ephemeras and tickets and everything. So, what I'm thinking of doing is 
I've got my signatures in here and four with a three fourths um, spine, about four four thick signatures will fit really nice in there. Um, as you can see, and what I'm going to do is I have already taped um, this side. So what I want to do is just simply take it and then close it and then put it down like that to stick on this side because I don't want to glue um, the signature spine to this spine because I want to have you know movement and stuff because the kettle stitch allows your book to lay open like this which is really nice when you're wanting to put like little pictures or different little things in there that you want to add um, in your book so what the video is going to do is it's going to speed up and it's going to show me inserting the spine the way I want to insert it um, and the signatures onto the spine and then I'm just going to play around and start decorating as you see here I had put a grommet in this one and this grommet of course is going to be way too big for this signature um, so not for the signature for this book so I'm going to locate a smaller grommet and see what I can do from there because I do want to hang some uh, beautiful charms and stuff off of this little mini album and turn it into maybe an ornament that you can hang on your tree every year and you can make little stories uh, narratives for each um, Christmas or whatever you know I'm gonna come out with some more uh, fabulous ideas I have a fabulous idea for another one Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's going to be really cool so the video is going to speed up and you're just going to see me doing uh my work and everything else so and i'll pop back in um if i need to add any kind of commentary so let's get started <music>
So you saw the um, process of decorating this cute little adorable micro mini album. I absolutely love this. I'm addicted. I'm definitely going to be making some more of these and definitely going to be making some more Gigi's uh, with these. Um, as you see here, I put a cute little snowman charm. I put some tassel trim with some pearl trim on the side. Uh, the closure is a beautiful satin red bow. And then as you open it, I have put this a little bunch of the ephemera in there. Um, lots of room to write little things and put tiny pictures in there. And to commemorate this uh, year's Christmas or Christmas past or Christmas future. And um, I just think these are absolutely adorable. And to top it all off, I was looking... Um, in my Christmas stuff, and a, a year ago or so, maybe it was a little bit longer, I had made these little gift boxes, and um, I was like, oh my gosh, this would be so perfect to put it in, and I had made these gift boxes here, and um, it comes with a tag, and what's so fun is that it's Velcro open, like that, you open it like this, and then you... Um, slide these two pieces out like that and then it's a box and then look this can fit perfectly in there just like so and yes I will have this for sale in my store and yes you get the little gift box along with the album and I think this is super cute it is a great cute little Christmas present um Christmas idea and everything and I just think it's adorable and then you just take it out and there you go you have the cute little mini album so um, I want to thank everyone that uh, come to the live show also be sure to check out the other links of uh, fellow crafters using this same um, DG set and creating these cute little books and everything and using pieces of ribbon and and everything in the ephemera that's provided and um, just have fun with this the, uh, you can do so much with these they're super cute love the idea and again I will be coming out with more so um, I look forward to creating more for you and with you and uh, so what was I going to say I'll see you in the next video bye